Hi everyone, it's a quite a uh, very interesting video I'm going to show you. Now I picked this uh, baby monitor system for 4 quid. I sold it for 14.95 and it was fully working and I tested it and sh taking a photo of it clearly showing it's working. Everything was fine, no problem, power button working, everything punky dory, no problem. Till the customer bought it and took it home and a couple of days later they sent me an email saying oh the power on a button doesn't work so I returned and said look uh, it clearly worked when I sent it I tested and okay I didn't argue I didn't make no bones about it so I said yeah no problem send it back and I'll refund you so I refound it refunded the money so I bought it home when he came home and I so saw I fiddled with it one of the one of the unit they said this doesn't work I looked at it carefully and I found they must what they must have done they must have dropped it and that caused the on a button to seize or break inside so it was stop working basically and then obviously I they they wanted their money back so I give them the money back the interesting thing is this um, when I received this uh, and I was thinking, you know, I'm thinking, so what can I use this again? How can I, what to do with it? I was thinking of chucking in the dustbin, you know. And I realized, what do I, have, what do I want to chuck in the dustbin for? I have did a search and behold, I found a lot of people are selling the charger for ridiculous amount of money. Forget about the the unit. The chargers were going for nine ninety nine, and I was like gobsmacked. I said, "Whoa, whoa, hold that's that's a game changer." Because I have to thank the couple who bought this uh, unit and they returned it because they have. What they have given me an inspiration, I never realized that uh, you can um, sell the accessories, which is ridiculous. You know, I mean, the whole unit now I put those two charges for nine quid each, so hopefully they will sell. So I'll get 18 quid back, whereas selling the whole unit, I didn't even get 14 quid back. So, <laughs> in fact, that was a really good outcome, and uh, they have enlightened me and they've taught me something you know it's like use cars you know when you have a car breakage yard breaker yard and your car comes to an end what do they do with the engine all the other parts they sell as a spare it makes sense so I'm thinking that's a brilliant um, brilliant idea uh, light bulb moment I guess for the put me into now I can venture into other accessories so if anybody in the eBay world is in that sort of field and thinking yeah if you can get hold of these Tommy or Tommy or any other kind of charger uh, it's, it's a killing to be made really really killing to be made on eBay selling these sort of spares spares worth more than the original stuff so i hope i've given few of you a bit of idea thank you so much for watching this video and all of my other videos and make sure you go and smash the and crash the like button and subscribe button and i have another channel with seven nine and a half thousand subscribers i want to beat that channel so I want to make this channel within a year nine to ten thousand subscribers please please go and subscribe write comments negative positive I don't mind whatever you want to write and if you want to learn anything about eBay or I am not an expert I've just started a year ago and it's business going strength to strength so I'm hoping you enjoy all these videos and the content I'm putting. Thank you so much.
and i hope to talk to you guys or do a video very soon thank you